Welcome! In front of me I have Xiaomi Redmi Watch 4 and I'm gonna show you how to enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone. Basically, if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch. Before we start, if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch, your watch needs to be paired with your phone via the Mi Fitness application. And once the devices are paired together, we can continue and now we can open the uh, Mi Fitness application on the phone that is paired with our watch. In the app you should see the health page. Now tap on the device icon to open the device page and on this page you should see Redmi Watch 4. Now scroll down and find the option called uh, or rather category called notifications and calls and here we have app notifications and incoming calls. Tap on app notifications first and if you don't have the required permissions allowed for the notifications to work, you will see this pop up on the screen. And if you see it, tap on OK. It will redirect you to the device and app notifications. Here you need to find the Mi Fitness application on the list. Tap on it. Tap on the uh, switch next to allow notification access. Then tap on allow. And once you enable the notification access, we can go back. <coughs> and in the a Mi Fitness application, now we can turn on the app notifications by tapping uh, on the switch. And once you enable them, you will see more options like uh, receive only when phone is locked. If you enable this option, uh, you will receive the notifications on your watch only if, your, if the screen on your phone is turned off. I'm gonna disable this option. <clears throat> Next we have the wake screen option. If you enable this option, it will wake up the screen uh, on your watch each time you receive the notification. Then we have option called notify only when worn. If this option is enabled, you will only see the notifications on your or receive the notifications on your watch if you're wearing it. So if I have it on my desk right now, uh, it won't work. So I would need to disable this option to show you that the notifications are working. And then we have more options. And here we have sync all notifications. If you enable this option, it will sync notifications or send the notifications to your watch from every app on your phone but you can disable this option and then tap on custom notifications. And here you have the list of applications on your phone and you can enable and disable the notifications for the apps you want. For example, I want to see the uh, notifications from Discord. So I will enable this option. Okay, and once you've done, you can tap on done and go back. And we have the incoming calls. So this is the um, basically notifications for calls. If you want to receive them, tap on incoming calls. And here we have uh, option optimizing incoming call notifications, enable this option. And if you don't have required permissions enabled or allowed, you will need to tap on allow and allow required uh, permissions. And you can also enable the option to show contact if not. So if somebody calls you, the watch will display who it is, the name of the contact or the number and stuff like that. You will need to allow the permission for contacts. And finally, you can also enable the option to enable with messages. And once you allow the required permissions, you can tap on quick responses. And here you can edit the re responses, add new responses. And then you can use them on your watch. So if somebody calls you, you can reply with the SMS. Okay, so now we should be able to receive the notifications. So I'm gonna send myself a message on Discord because I enabled the notifications for Discord. As you can see, we got the notification on our phone and also uh, on our watch. If you missed the notification on your watch, I believe you can swipe down from the top of the screen to open the notification panel. Okay, and that's how you enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.